welcome to Five for Five, where we spend five minutes or less sharing God's Word together so that you can spend five minutes or more digging in a little bit deeper. I'm Keith Thompson, the preaching minister of the Downtown Bigsby Church of Christ. Thank you for joining me here today. Here at Downtown Bigsby, as we continue our time together in the Power for Today booklet, at the top of the page, you'll find our reference for today on Tuesday, June the 13th, is Ephesians chapter 4, verses 29 through 32. I want to encourage you to back up to verse 25. I think it all ties together and will be a more complete thought. It begins by talking about how we treat our neighbors. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32, we find that verse tells us to be kind and compassionate to one another. Kind and compassionate to one another. Forgiving each other, just as in Christ, God forgave you. And so as we learn to communicate better, as we grow older with those who are around us. We learn to make a difference with our communication. Communication is key to actually happiness, joy, and laughter in life. And as we learn to communicate better, God will bless us. And we use biblical thoughts to do that. The knowledge, the wisdom that he's given to us through his word. When I was young and my wife and I first got married, our first big disagreement was actually over terminology. We were saying the same thing and using two different terms, and it frustrated both of us. I'm glad that we treated each other kindly and compassionately until we figured that out. But life isn't always like that, is it? Sometimes our arguments destroy relationships, and that's not the way it should be. Our relationships should define arguments and the way that we communicate so that those relationships can grow and be enriched. And that's what God's Word wants us to do, to be better communicators. I want to give you a couple of things that I've learned myself in life. One, be an active listener. Don't think about what you're going to reply until they're completely done. Two, don't assume. When we assume what someone is trying to say to us, it can get us into a lot of trouble. That's caused problems all throughout history. So be an active listener. Listener, Don't assume anything. Reply just as Ephesians 4.32 tells you to, kindly and compassionately in your reply. That'll make a difference in your relationships and allow you to have more joy and laughter. I wanna share with you a couple more verses quickly. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 7 from the NIV says this, Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it's not proud. It doesn't dishonor others, and it's not self-seeking. It's not easily angered, and it keeps no record, no record of wrongs. If we could learn that well in America, our divorce rate would plummet. And that would be great. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but it rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. And that's the last thing that I, I've learned that has really made a great difference in my communication. So I want to be an active listener don't assume, reply kindly and compassionately, and fourth, allow that communication to persevere. Don't allow communication issues to destroy relationships. Let the relationship define communication and be loving in all that you do. Thank you for joining me here today. I pray that today will be a day full of blessings for you. If you're not a member of Downtown Bigsby Church of Christ and you're in the area visiting in the Tulsa area, uh, we'd love to have you come be a part of worship with us. Here to my right, you'll find our website and on it you can find the times that we meet and directions on how to get to our building. I believe that if you'll come spend some time with us, you'll find that it's like coming home to worship. Until I see you face to face, may God's blessings pour into your life and may you have plenty of days of joy and laughter and good communication.